Hello, and thank you for joining me. This is Shooter from Shooter Soups and Sauces. Today we're going to do a potato leek soup. It's a pretty easy soup to do. Just follow along. What we're going to do first is add one cup of butter to the pan. So that way, you go ahead and saute your vegetables, but also we're going to add about half a cup of vegetable oil. That way you don't burn your vegetables when you're sauteing them. It's very important not to burn it because it is a potato leek soup and it is white. You want to sort of keep it that way. So once this pan gets hot, we'll get rolling. Now that we have the pan hot and the butter's melted, as you can see, we're going to go ahead and add the vegetables. What we have is celery and onions. I actually have two cups of celery, one cup of onions. I will post the ingredients during the video. Go ahead and saute it. Get it to where it starts to soften up a little bit. Once we get it to that point, then we're going to add flour, just like a roux, but in the pan all at once. Add this flour in here. And then we'll bring the soup out with chicken stock, half and half, and milk. Now that we have the vegetables to the consistency that we like it, we're going to go ahead and add a couple of teaspoons of thyme and three bay leaves. We're going to mix it in. Use it for some flavor. Don't forget to pull the bay leaves out at the end. You don't want to be chewing on those. Let them go ahead and simmer in with the butter and the oil. But as you can see, nothing's burning. The oil helps it with the butter mixture to keep it from burning, even on a high heat. You can see the clarification of the vegetables as they cook. This is about the right consistency. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add some flour. But before we add the flour, we're going to go ahead and turn the heat down to about medium. Once we get it down to medium, we'll go ahead and we'll add some flour. This is a cup of flour. Do a cup for now. A little bit at a time. Let it cook in a little bit. We're going to get the consistency of the flour sort of pasty. That way when we bring out the soup, it's going to have a nice texture to it. See what you have right here? A little bit of still the oil, and the butter, and the flour mixture. We're going to cook this for a couple minutes. We're going to add a little bit more flour. Now that we let this flour cook in a little bit, we're going to add about another cup and we're going to cook it a little bit more. The whole idea is to cook the flour. You want to taste flour in your soup. You want your soup to have a lot of flavor but not flour. So we're going to go ahead, add another cup, just like we did the first time. Add half, start to mix it, and you're going to see it's going to start to ball up. Don't worry, we're going to bring it out with chicken stock. You'll see at the end of the video what the actual soup looks like. But what you want to do is stir it around without burning it. You want to keep it white. That's why I don't have any carrots or anything in this, just white. You have your celery and the greens of your onion. We're going to add the other half of flour. We're going to cook this for a few minutes. After we cook it for a few minutes, then we'll start adding the liquid. Like I said, about after five minutes of mixing, keep the mixture going though. Don't let it sit because you want to cook that flour in. Once you cook that flour in, we're going to add the stock. As you can see, 
still balled up, nice ball. We're going to go ahead and start adding the stock. Like I said, it's about four cups of chicken stock. Add in about half. And get yourself a whip. As you see, it's going to start to thicken. As it thickens, add more chicken stock. A little bit at a time. Let's the flour break apart and we don't have flour balls in your soup. Now that we added the four cups of chicken stock, we're going to let it simmer for about 10 minutes, stirring every once in a while. Now that we've gotten it to a consistency of a real big thick paste, and the bubbles. I'm going to go ahead and add the half and half. It's about two cups of half and half. You can use just straight milk if you'd like because we're going to be adding milk as well. Mix that in. Of course you're going to see that it starts to pull the soup apart again which is fine. Don't worry about it. Just let it cook down. So we're going to let this simmer for about 15 minutes. I'm going to add some milk to it. Yeah, it's funny. I thought I would share something with you while this is cooking until we put the uh, milk in. But I get people asking, Shooter, why don't you ever show your face? I go, why should I show my face? It's not about me. It's about cooking. I'm here to show people how to make something that they can be impressed with by making it by themselves. So why should I have to show my face? I mean, what do you think? Let me have a comment on that one. Remember to keep stirring. You don't want to have it sticking to the bottom. You keep it on like a medium to low heat. And then we're going to add a few more ingredients before we actually put the milk. We're going to put two tablespoons of just some garlic salt. It brings out the flavor. Black pepper. Depends how much black pepper you like. I mean, you can always add more. So I just use a coarse grind. Right now, I'm going to put about a tablespoon. We'll add a little bit of that. The flavor. We'll stir it in, let it simmer. We figure all in all, right now, we're about 15 minutes into this video so from start to finish so far is 15 minutes that way you can get some sort of idea of how long you actually really need to let this simmer for before we start adding the milk and then the leeks and the potatoes until the finished product is here but if you look you can see how it's getting a shine to it Get a nice little shine. That's what you want. It's the consistency so that way when you put all your other stuff in, it's not too thick and it's not too thin. It'll be just right. As long as you follow this recipe, it'll be perfect. All right, now that we let this simmer for another 15 minutes, a little stir here and there, we're gonna start adding the milk. We're going to bring it out. And don't worry about it thinning out too much because don't forget at the end you're going to add your potatoes. And the potatoes have got the starch in it which is going to of course make it a little thicker. And then again, once you cool it to put it in the refrigerator, you're going to have to thin it out to reheat it. And usually then you'd add about, well, about a half a cup of milk to thin it out or you could use chicken stock whichever you prefer. But right now if you look at the consistency I just added two cups of milk. It's getting a nice little just like soup. Just like a cream based soup 
you can see and we might end up adding a little bit more chicken stock I'll add it to the ingredients if I do depending how thick because sometimes it just comes out a little thicker once you add the potatoes to it but let's let this simmer for about 15 more minutes all in all you're looking at about an hour on the whole total process of the soup as far as cooking the prepping of the vegetables just depends on yourself and how you can handle a knife you know it could take you half hour it could take an hour but it's well worth it trust me now that we have it to the consistency of what we're looking for as far as the soup goes you see it's runs off the spoon really nice we're going to switch it over to another burner just put it on a medium to low heat and we're going to start the process of leeks so we can add the leeks into it remember keep stirring don't let it stick to the bottom you don't want to scorch your soup and we did that same process with butter and oil about four tablespoons of butter two tablespoons spoons of oil and we're going to add the leeks As you see that no burning no browning add these leeks in there get that nice little sear going keep it up on the edges start it off with some high heat and then we'll stir it as we go this will be like one of closest to the last process of finishing off the soup. I'm sure at the beginning of the process of doing the leeks, you said, oh damn, look at all that oil and butter he's using. But if you actually really look at it, it keeps it from burning, gives it a lot of flavor, and it's not going to hurt your soup. Also add another tablespoon of black pepper while you're mixing this up but as you can see we're just sweating these a little bit so we can get some flavor into them once you get a little bit of flavor in them and they look about like that we're going to add it into the soup now that we got them to look like this we're going to go ahead and add it into the soup I moved the soup back over to the burner it was originally on, turned it back down to between medium and low heat. We add these in, and as you can see, it gives it a nice consistency. This is actually a good soup at any time. Winter soup is really good, but this you can eat any time. We'll go ahead and we're going to let this simmer for about 10 minutes until we add the final ingredients of the potato. Well, it's just about that time. We're going to go ahead and add the potatoes to this. Also, make it easier on yourself. Clean as you go. That way you don't have a big mess at the end of uh, cooking up the soup. I mean, if you can stay away from your pad or phone long enough, you can clean up your mess. It's like I say, you have time to clean, you have time to clean. So, keep that in mind. I'm going to go ahead and add these potatoes in. Like I said, I'll have the ingredients for everything at the end of the video. I'm going to let this simmer for about another 10 minutes. During that time, we're going to go ahead and add another cup. Like I said, I might adjust it. Chicken stock. That way, the starch of the potatoes, when it starts to thicken the soup, you won't have a big mud pack. Let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to add about two tablespoons or two teaspoons of uh, parsley. This is from the parsley I did the other day in the video, along with the chicken stock. The video I posted on making the chicken stock is what I use for this whole soup. Also, don't forget to remove 
your bay leaves. Remove them as you see them. That way you don't choke on them. Remember to add salt as you go. The salt to taste. It's all in your preference. Don't forget a lot of people don't like a lot of salt. They can always add their own. Plus, we added that garlic salt at the beginning. So it already has a salty flavor. And you can replace garlic salt with fresh garlic, a couple cloves when you're first doing your vegetables in a saute. Or you can use just a granulated garlic and put in there. Either one, or you don't have any, you don't even have to use garlic at all if you don't want. But uh, the soup's almost done. We're going to go ahead and plate up a bowl so you can see what it looks like. And then that'll be the end of the video. On the next video, I'm going to feature New England clam chowder. New England clam chowder, I've been, people's been bugging me for. Shooter, make the New England clam chowder. It's so good. So, I took the request and I'm going to make New England clam chowder on the next video just to please the people who wanted it. So don't forget to leave your comments and a good thumbs up. Go ahead and put this on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Appreciate it. Follow me. Be back in just a minute. Now that your soup is finished, here's your final product. It's ready to eat. So enjoy. And don't forget to follow me. Give me that big thumbs up and a comment. Let me know what you would like to request.